Jay Gurdav. Thank you very much, Marshi, for this most extraordinary introduction with such a sweeping yet absolutely precise and compelling view of the mechanics of transformation of the world, the beautiful news from Holland, how that program for invincibility and coherence and problem-free administration of Holland is being taken up, is inspiring the youth of Germany and Belgium and Ireland to ask the question, if Holland, why not us? Why cannot we also rise to invincibility? And also such a beautiful explanation of the mechanics of the rise of social coherence, of how this field of bliss within spreads without resistance into society and transforms the destiny of society. Such an exquisite and beautiful explanation of total knowledge. This introductory remark of Maharshi's is fortunately recorded and really should be seen again and again by the press and by world leaders and all the lovers of peace and truth throughout the world. Such a beautiful, beautiful introduction. Maharshi, there are a few good questions in the press, I would say, whose attention has been drawn by the transformation of events in Holland. And this is quite a nice question about the mechanics of the transformation of the destiny of that country. This person writes, I read all about Maharshi's program to make Holland invincible. That Maharshi is using group practice of his yogic flying in the country, quote, to create coherence in the collective consciousness of the nation, and thereby to improve the economy and make the government better. My question is, I think I can understand how meditation techniques practiced in groups could make a country more peaceful. But how does it improve the economy and how does it make the government function better? In the same way as when the root is watered, naturally the water enriches all expressions of the root, all expressions of the root, all the trees, the branches, leaves, flowers and fruits, and big fruit, sweet fruit come out. How does it come out? Because there is a continuous flow of nourishment from the source. The source which gives rise to the tree, to the plant, to become tree and like. So transcendental consciousness is the source. When the attention goes to the source, it is like enlivening the source. This is the theory of attention. Wherever attention goes, attention does something to the point which it strikes. It's natural. It's natural. So this phenomenon of transcending, getting away from the gross value of life, and in so doing, all the levels of the gross values are nourished. This is the scientific theory of attention. Wherever attention goes, it enlivens creativity there, it enlivens life there. That's how the influence radiates throughout the world. Radiates throughout the world from the field of the transcended not from the field of any relative, because relative has boundaries, has limitations. This is from the unlimited value of life, unlimited, from the transcendental consciousness. Veda is the level of the transcendental consciousness. The language of the Veda is the language of the Transcendental consciousness. It's not the language of the of the of the relative value where words would would, would stack up would stack up. No. It's a frictionless flow. 
the essential reaches the level of life which is frictionless flow that means the attention goes and enlivens totality of being totality of being totality of life in oneself for this to feel a pure life that's why we say this is the flow of the will of god this is the light of god supreme administrator of the universe supreme administrator of the universe total natural law which governs the universe unified versified value of life is beautiful attention 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 must go there and that's a dental meditation program takes the attention systematically from the cross to the subtle to the subtle to the subtle and takes it to the subtle and subtle and within was all within the subtle it is only left with the memories of everything it get to the storehouse of all memories from there it enlivens all expressions of life